Yo, this is Kane from Vomit Forth, and you're listening to Phantasm Podcast. Let's go. Phantasm. Maximum terror. Ah! That's your target audience, baby! Phantasm. Did you know something? I sort of enjoyed it. Phantasm. Sell the metal! Sell the metal! Sell the metal! Sell the metal! Ah! Ah! Corey Gorecrest, Phantasm Podcast. I'm here with Kane from Vomit Forth. What up? On tour. Been a while since I've done one of these uh, on tour interviews. The last time I saw you guys was in Atlanta. It was like Halloween, the Frozen Hole tour. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Were, there was like a trash can pit. I've never seen was anything it? like it. I yeah. don't even remember. People it were throwing crazy, a fucking yeah. trash can the whole time during the pit. Damn. So I was like, oh, damn, this is a great it. first time to see uh, <laughs> Vomit Forth. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully people followed since then. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah how's, the, how's the touring been? And That's been craziness. That, I mean, that was the first one where we, like, uh, made it happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that was our first, like, real tour. Yeah. It was long. It was seven weeks. Yeah, that's So long. it was, like, uh, that was also when a lot of people in the band were like, I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> that much. So, yeah, we, it was great, but then we also lost our, like, entire lineup after that. So. Yeah, yeah. It was it was fun, but it was, I mean, the, it's, it was just me and the drummer stuck around after that. And then yeah. we have a new lineup. But touring's been crazy. I mean, it's been really good, 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 res- good responses. We've done diverse yeah. tours, you yeah. know? So, like, we did, like the frozen hole tour which is like kind of our vibe sure yeah yeah you know i mean that's like frozen soul saying it's about like inoculation they're yeah not that far from us the perfect tour yeah yeah, yeah exactly it's especially like especially being introduced to yeah kind of bands, elements so. of all like basically every element of death metal yeah you know what i mean and then um after that we we did like a couple of days with this with uh i mean hopefully people know this is a band called integrity oh absolutely um King's like, part. Yeah, one of our one of our, I mean we covered integrity on that tour. Yeah, yeah. So like that's one of our favorite bands. So oh, we did like sure. a couple days with them. So we've been kinda like just switching it up and you know, right now we're doing a tour with Last Ten Seconds of Life, which is like awesome. more kind of a deathcore band. Sure, yeah. And with we're out with Tactosa too, who's also like another deathcore style band. Yeah, for sure. And um they we've been received well in all of those. So that's been cool. Yeah. It's been oh, great. Yeah. It's been kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Now, was that yeah. the same lineup you had? Well, so after that, was that still the... Was that no, one's on so, Malevolence? Yeah, so the, 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 the last tour we did with that old lineup, we did the Integrity shows, and then we did an, our, our our first headliner, yeah. which it was just us, and uh, we played a fest called Wrecking Ball. Yeah. We did, yeah, yeah, we did yeah, yeah. dates down there and back home, and that was that was Ricky and Tyler's last tour with us. It was kind of like us saying goodbye. It was goodbye. also a Frozen Soul show with the Wrecking Ball. Yeah, it was that, crazy. It, yeah. Was like, it was kind of like everybody on that tour except for Inoculation, which yeah. sucks. But, the Creeping um, Death, I think, played. Yeah, it was, it was like yeah. Tribal Gaze, Creeping Death. Oh, yeah, Tribal uh, Gaze. Uh, uh, Fugitive played. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was crazy. Nasty. Yeah, it was crazy. But uh, Somebody had yeah. posted about them earlier, Fugitive. I was like, they're like obituary on speed. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a lot <laughs> of the really dudes good. from Power Trip. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah some so. Texas death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Band yeah. is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Lincoln, Lincoln from Creeping Death is in that band, too. He's, nice. he's so talented, yeah. Yeah, that whole so. scene's popping off I know. yeah i mean it's like all of it's good yeah it's always i mean texas has always been good yeah. Te- texas always had like great bands that's right i mean they had they had power trip and they had this awesome black metal band called bono yeah yeah their band was sick um yeah texas is always cool yeah dude so how's the the current tour doing cool yeah. cool it's been like weird just because i'm not used to i'm 35 i'm old so i kind of missed deathcore <laughs> i didn't really yeah. like, have a moment with it not that i don't like it i'm kind of right. just just kind of now understanding it <clears throat> um it's just a departure because I, we come from hardcore sure yeah. so it's like uh you know to like a regular person that's not different yeah you know but like in the scene it's like vastly yeah different. yeah so meeting new people so it's been cool but i'm like kind of having an adjusting period where i'm like oh okay yeah like uh it's really slow <laughs> you know? right but uh, it's it's been <laughs> awesome everybody's been really cool you know so i'm happy about that it's good man yeah and then uh Talk a little bit about Seething Malevolence, just a couple... Like, uh, that was, like, the, the hardest process. record I've ever had to record in my really? life. Yeah, it's like... I mean... So the record was recorded before we signed a Century, before we even went on that tour. Yeah. Um, and it was... We finished recording it just before that tour. Mm-hmm. And uh, us being signed to Century Media wasn't even a thought. Yeah. We didn't even know sure. about it. And uh, we just did it, and it was, like... 
then it was pre COVID. Yeah. Mean, so we did that and then we had all the instruments recorded. But I just wanted more because Vomit Forth was kind of, to me, I, I was, like, not happy creatively. Sure, yeah. And I wanted to push it. So we did all that stuff with the same dude. We did everything with his grace. named Evan Perino. Um, he plays guitar in a band called uh, Blood Runs Cold, and he's also in a really awesome band that's popping right now called Missing Link. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, nice. And he's, he recorded all our stuff, and we did that, and I just wasn't happy with it. And then COVID hit, and I was like, oh, okay, so we have time. I'm going to put noise all over the record. So I did that, <laughs> and... Um, I recorded the vocals with Evan for a little bit. I didn't like them. Yeah. Re-recorded the vocals three other times. Yeah. Went through <clears throat> and finished it that way. And then um, just wasn't happy with the mix. We were getting mixes on the Frozen Hole tour. And it was just yeah. like... And at that point, the band kind of felt like it was dissolving. And I didn't know if we were going to be a band. And it was like really emotionally hard for, for me, at least. Sure, it was, yeah. it was a tough, tough time. Damn. So Seething is like a very bittersweet record because it's what we put out on century first but yeah. the getting it out was so hard yeah. and uh we lost you know two of our you know they were our other main songwriters so yeah. it was like God, it's an evil record to me yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. all that pain is in there it's and and i mean even before all that stuff what i was writing about it's all negative very yeah. very painful stuff and um so it's like uh it's it's definitely not easy for me to perform or listen to all the time sure yeah, but you know i me. love it but it's not it's like an it's like the last record a bad uh stepping stone where you can look back and maybe be a little more comfortable this time well, around hopefully yeah well it's like yeah. the whole the whole theme of it is to kind of externalize your trauma sure yeah. look at it and i mean that's actually literally what i did with it yeah and um you know kind of analyze the bad part of yourself and also look at like the bad shit that's happened to you and absolutely yeah you know, it's not. It's, it's it sounds cheesy, but it's like that's like no, that's, that's what it is, and it it's still like an evil sounding record, and it's not like a. It's it's a little deeper than I think a lot of people think. So yeah. it's literally that's why that's why we call it that because it is seething malevolence. Like that's yeah. what it is. That's what that record does. It's what it is. So, yeah, that's uh, that's seething malevolence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so, what do you guys got coming up now with the new lineup and after tour and uh, stuff? New record is almost written, almost, nice. almost all the way done. Uh, we're, I can't say who we're going in to record with, but it's all figured out. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to record with them. Awesome. Um, and we have a shitload of touring. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, congrats on the Ingesta tour coming up. Yeah, it's going to be The crazy. last week of that tour. Mm -hmm. Last week of that, and we have other stuff coming up I can't say, but uh, that's going to be really fucking cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, we, we're not stopping until 2024, and that's where we're, uh -huh. at. we're getting in, going in to record the new record. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll see around <laughs> then. So, but yeah, we have a lot of new. So we're playing new songs on this tour. Awesome. So, yeah, two new songs in the yeah. set, and uh, then on the next one we're going to do another new song. So yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> awesome, dude. We look yeah. forward to what's coming up on the horizon for you guys. I guess you, you guys will be on the road for quite a while. So hopefully yeah, everybody yeah. listening goes out to some of those dates and you know checks you guys out yeah. if they haven't already yeah i mean if you if anybody is coming you can buy tickets at vomitforth.com <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you do it the right way no fees yeah. you know yeah just you just hit do. it up yeah and then yeah man have you guys run into venues or you have like those merch, merch sharing shots? venues and shit like that um we did on a couple on the frozen hole tour yeah. not on not lately because we don't have it like that we're not playing like huge ass rooms yet but right. um that's good it's like I mean, whenever I've run into that, I just lie. Yeah. You know? <laughs> just like, yeah, we sold, like, a shirt. I don't know, man. You know? And, or, or, you know, a uh, cool tip. You, what you, you want to do is if, if a venue's taking money from you, you have they have to give you a W-9 form. Right. Yeah. So, uh, sure. And they won't. Yeah. They won't. A lot of the time, especially, unless you're in a really big band. Yeah. Um, they're not going to give you that. Because it's too much of a pain in the ass for them. They're not sure. going to do it. And they think that they... When you're doing it, uh, when when venues are doing that to smaller bands, bands our size or something yeah. like that, they're just being predatory and shitty. It's true. Yeah. So I mean, either way, they are. But um, right. in our situation, it's like we're small fish, so they they're not gonna do that. So right. always fucking lie. <laughs> always get a W nine. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it the punk rock way, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck I mean, that. What are we doing? Yeah, I, I I'm very. I mean, I'm grateful for venues. I'm grateful for bookers, promoters. It's a thankless task a lot of the time. Sure. But uh, I'll be honest, like, I, I've never prescribed to the mindset of 
um, a band should be grateful because you're giving them a venue. Because I grew up playing shows in people's basements sure. and yeah. uh, house shows, and yeah, shows. VFWs and stuff like yeah. that. It's like, hey man, this scene where and, and I see a lot of those bigger venues are capitalizing on hardcore yeah. and even even like death metal and stuff like that. I mean, hardcore is where I feel there's a lot more heart and stuff. So yeah, sure. Um, it's always been kind of like, you know, you know, man, we, I know you think that like, we really want to play like your big ass venue or something like that. Um, I've had way more fun playing in a VFW where kids are losing their minds and throwing tables. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, I don't have to worry about a merch cut. What I have to worry about is someone taking my merch table yeah. and throwing it at <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you, we've been doing this longer than, you know, we, we, ne- we didn't need big ass venues. Yeah. So it's like, uh, you know, you're lucky though. Cause Especially now, people are seeing videos of bands that are playing these bigger shows, but they're getting the reactions out of that you would see at places like that, like people sure, punching yeah. each other and jumping right. off the stage and going psycho. Yeah. And uh, normally, a venue like that who'd want a merch cut would cry about that. Yeah. Except exactly. when it goes viral on TikTok, now they yeah. love it. You yeah. know. So it's like, you know, fuck you, and fuck that merch, <laughs> merch cut bullshit, it's dude. You're, yeah. you're lucky. You're lucky that they're playing there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because a bigger, a hardcore band doesn't need to play there. Yeah, you know they. I, I've seen it. I mean, we still do it in Connecticut and stuff like that, where bigger hardcore bands will come and play at a little brewery where yeah. they don't have to worry about a merch cut. And there's fucking, I don't know, six hundred, seven hundred kids yeah, there. They show all, out. Yeah, they're going nuts, especially Just, for a smaller venue. Exactly, it's cheaper too. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, man, don't don't be greedy and shitty. We're not the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's just fucked up. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, dude, I, I really appreciate you doing this. And no, yeah, thank appreciate you. Appreciate your time, and uh, glad you guys made it here safe. Yeah, fuck this place and, up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to you guys. Cool, yeah, cool. fucking the place up. All right, yeah. And you know something? I sort of enjoyed it. Phantasm.